In terms of the NSF grant that I was just uh, awarded, um, the research agenda is called the Idea Gap in Pink and Black. I've come up with mechanisms to be able to identify uh, women and African Americans in uh, patent data. So what I found using the data that I've uh, recently collected is that when women and men work on patent teams together, they are more productive. So there's something about all ideas being welcomed by everybody on the team that has some statistical merit. So I'm going to examine why that is. That's, that's one part of the finding, but the big question is, uh, why do women and African Americans patent so much less than the rest of the population? So um, women patent one order of magnitude less than the overall patenting population in the US and African Americans patent one order of magnitude below women in the US. So I want to know why that is. And it is particularly anonymous, uh, anomalous because women are exceeding men with respect to PhDs, for instance, in biology. And their numbers are going up. And this has been happening since the 1960s. So given that the pool, the potential pool of patentees is going up significantly, you'd think that this gap would have closed. But it is not closed. It's still very large for women uh, versus the other population, the patenting population, and still large for, for African Americans. So the African American gains haven't been as large in the natural sciences, but they've still doubled their numbers. So this gap is closing, but it hasn't closed as much. So those are the questions I'll be answering. So uh, Spartans, I think, will be innovators. I think that's going to be our comparative advantage in the 21st century there is a great base of human and intellectual capital here. We have one of the largest intellectual property portfolios in the entire country among many universities. And the question is, how do we leverage this? How do we bring this to market? How do we uh, create some of the best biomedicine uh, and deliver it to, to people and make our lives better as a result of our research? So I think that's where uh, Spartans will be uh, very well placed in the 21st century.